In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the Euro FX. Now, the Euro FX is another one of our favorite markets that we love to trade. And as you can see, this market came through, started a little bit quiet this morning uh, through the morning session, but right about the time that the stock market started to go, you can know that the stock market uh, heats up at about 9.30 in the morning, uh, Eastern Standard Time. You see that we had this nice little fall down in here. But then the market turned and started to rally once again. We may have missed this first rally right here. This might uh, have been something that we missed. We were looking at this for a downside potential off of this trade. We might have missed this one. Uh, if we were watching and holding still against this trend, there was no blue lights to take us in on an intercept order for a short position here. This was kind of a weak position here as it went sideways. Nonetheless, uh, this was a move off of this breaking to this breaking. You can see that's, uh, that's about $187 move in this market. Uh, if we come in here, if we didn't catch this reversal arrow here, our next entry opportunity was this blue light set, set right here. And you can see just from this blue light set from from uh, the the blue light to the exit in there that's about a two hundred dollar move in there on the euro fx if we draw this down here we have this one in here that was 181 dollars now if we just go from arrow to arrow we can do that uh... let's just go from arrow to arrow to show you the arrow to arrow price that was about a four hundred eighteen dollar move in there this morning off of the euro fx so i just want to bring your attention to uh... the euro fx and the japanese yen this morning uh... two very favorite markets right here first thing in the morning uh... very active after a holiday now we all know not to trade on holidays not to trade on weekends uh, the very best time to trade is the day after holiday. Everybody's excited to get in, and the market has a tendency to make these nice trends. So uh, no trading on holidays, but the day after holiday is generally a pretty good day to trade. And that's just a quick wrap-up of the Euro FX. The number one question I get when people watch my videos is they want to know what software platform I'm using and what indicators I'm using. First and foremost, if you come to our website, TradeMentors.com, you'll notice that we have a section here called Tools for Traders. If you click on Tools for Traders, the software tools in here are listed. And you can see the recommended trading tools. We have the live trading platforms that we use. These are from Track and Trade, Track and Trade Live Futures, and Track and Trade Forex. If you click these more info buttons, you can find out more information about the platforms we're using. I also use a plug-in to the live futures version that is called the Bulls and Bears. That's the Bulls and Bears is what turns the price bars red, yellow, and green and gives me the Elliott Wave uh, blue light system. And so that's a plug-in into the live version of Track and Trade. And it works on both uh, the live futures as well as the live Forex. Now some research tools that we love and that we have here listed as well are the Trade Miner tools. This is Trade Miner for stocks, futures, and forex. This is one of the research tools that helps us identify the fundamental nature of markets. And then of course we have News Miner. News Miner is the current active uh, information, scours the internet, tells you what the current news is on any given stock, future, or forex, and then ranks them which ones or which markets are in play. So again, if you want to have a little bit of information about the tools that we use here at Trade Mentors, come to our website, www.tradementors.com, and click on the Tools for Traders button.